Hey guys, this is John. I'm recording some five minute. And who do we got today? We got Grandmaster Orange. Uh, what should we play against GM Orange? Oh, let's go Scandinavian. Let's do that. See, see if we can get a good position. I've lost to this guy before. Um, oh, I think I played this guy before in this line. Now that I'm remembering it. So I'm going to play carefully. I don't want a repeat of a uh, previous loss to him. I should probably um, do some research on this line because it's caused me problems in the past. This restrained approach with d3 and bishop d2 has some advantages like keeping the d4 square open. And he hasn't committed his knight yet either. So I'm playing queen b6 more as an annoyance than anything else. I may not take the pawn on b2, although he seemed to think I might. So now, I could feed and keto my dark square bishop. That would be an easy way to play this. I could play bishop g4 and try to win a tempo on him. That would be normal. However, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Bishop g4. Why not? You can play f3. But I'll just drop my bishop back to h5. Okay, pretty standard stuff going on now. Uh, taking, now nah, let's keep the pin. See how bad he wants to break that pin. I bet he'll play knight f4. Mm hmm. Now, h4 could be an issue, so I'm going to attack his, uh, his knight. So that if he ever plays h4, I can just immediately capture. Maybe he's gearing up for an attack on this square. I might just take and get rid of his dark square, or uh, get rid of his knight. But losing my dark square bishop would be somewhat of a shame. Hmm. Might be the safest thing to do, though. Yeah, let's do that. I just want to be able to uh, develop without having to worry about either h4 or a sacrifice on e6 so much. Okay, we'll go queen a5. I probably will end up castling queenside, despite the fact that I don't have a dark square bishop anymore. He's hounding my queen. We'll just step here. Hmm. Okay, we're going to castle long. He'll probably play bishop e3. And then I'll go queen a5 again. So I have a solid yet unspectacular position. That's how I would describe it. H5. H5 would be a good undermining move at the moment. I do like the look of this move. H5, he might go F5, though. And then after a trade, F7 is hanging. So he could win that pawn. So maybe I should prefer a more solid move. Let's go Rook H8. down some clock time, so I'll try to make that up. Hmm. H5. Yeah, why not H5? Just to break up his pawns a little bit. Let's take... So now F5 is really hanging in the air. Knight c5, probably not so great. Hmm. Knight d5, also not good. Yeah, this is tough now. 
mean, is F maybe maybe F five is not that big of a threat. The fact that uh, G seven is hanging at the end is annoying. It's an issue I'm facing in this position. It's an easy one for him to play too. Yeah, I don't like this. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. I'm struggling. All right, let's just do knight c5 for now. He goes for it. Check. Probably take that guy. Yeah, this is bad. He can take on g7 now. And my knight is under attack. Let's go c5. But bishop g5. Ugh. Bishop g5 is bad for me. This is not looking good, guys. Do I have any swindles with, like, queen a5 or something? Maybe. Probably not. Let's just try it. <laughs> I don't know what else to try, quite honestly. I'm losing everything I have. And give a useless check. A spite check, if you will. Check. Oh, and he just fled with his king. Time warning. Just fled with his king. I mean, unless I can get a lucky rookie to move in, I think I'm just busted. Yeah, and that dashed any hopes of that happening. <laughs> C4, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going for with that move. I guess I'm threatening rook takes d3. Yeah, this is over. I resign. I shouldn't have played this um, way against him, because I think I remembered uh, losing to him in very similar fashion. I should have remembered that. Who is GM Orange? Goffstein. Yeah, that's that's the guy. Yeah, this is a tough line against the Scandi. This D3 variation. It's not fun to face, I'll tell you. Because it's more subtle than D4. Like, most people play D4, but D3, there's there's potential for black to have problems. And in conjunction with uh, the delayed development of this knight, too, it can be an issue. So, yeah, like, he directs the knight to F4. Actually, in retrospect, probably I should trade on E2 in this position. Because in the game, I ended up having to part with the dark square bishop, which gave me more problems. Probably already here, my position's not so good. Computer does say knight bd7, so just develop normally. Yeah, and if he sacrifices, it's not working because I have bishop e7 in reply Check. to queen takes e6. So I at least have that going for me. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm just somewhat worse now. F4. I castled long. That might have been asking for it. I just wasn't able to deal with the f5 move. See, I wanted to go h5 right now, but I thought this would be very strong for him. And f7 is an issue, because if I take, he takes here. And the pawn structure on the king side favors him, even though it's equal material. But the g7 pawn is a clear target. So I think I have to do something pretty critical right now, otherwise I'm in a lot of trouble. Maybe knight c5 earlier. But even then, I just thought he would always meet knight c5 with bishop c4. And I didn't see how to proceed. So I hesitated for a move. Yep, and now I'm in big trouble. Practically losing, according to the computer. Yeah, because f5 is just so powerful, and I'm having problems with either the g7 or the f7 pawn, or both. And my bishop is um, lacking squares to go to. Check. Yeah, and this is over. Take on g7. 
Yep. And all I have left are check. Like really slim swindling chances, <laughs> which he easily sidestepped. Okay, so I either have to figure this line out or I have to stop playing the Scandinavian against such good players because th this is a tough line. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is a critical test of the Scandinavian. I mean, some people even consider this line to be um, uh, close to close to a refutation of the black of Black's move order. So playing d3 and then delaying the development of this knight and usually sending the knight to e2 to make um, trouble for the bishop that's coming out to either f5 or g4. All right, so GM Orange continues to hound me. <laughs> Good player, I gotta get Goffstein back. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Talk to you later.